Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lemuel E. Hernandez, your Pinoy math teacher. Ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay kung paano mag-evaluate ng exponential functions. Para sa ating unang example, so given f of x equals 2 raised to x, so ang base dito ay 2 at ang exponent naman ay x. So i-evaluate natin yung function na to at different values of x, so letter a, f of 2, letter b, f of 5, letter c, f of 0 0.5, and letter d, f of 0. So start na tayo. Para sa letter A, i-evaluate natin yung given exponential function at x equals 2. So, papalitan natin yung exponent na x ng 2. So, we have 2 raised to 2. Okay, so 2 squared, that is equal to 2 times 2. Or simply 4. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Sa letter B, i-evaluate natin at x equals 5 or solve for f of 5 tayo. So, replace natin yung exponent na x ng 5. So, 2 raised to 5. So, ito ay hindi nangangahulugang 2 times 5. Ibig sabihin niyan, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, limang 2 yung ipagmumultiply natin. Or that is equal to? 32. So, final answer na to. Sa letter C, solve for f of 0 0.5 tayo. So, papalitan natin yung x na exponent ng 0 0.5. So, 2 raised to 0 0.5. Ang 0 0.5 ay katumbas din ng 1 half. So, 2 raised to 1 half. Okay. So, pagka Ang exponent ay fraction, pwede natin itong i-convert into radical. So, yung numerator ng exponent, yung 1, siya yung magiging exponent ng radical. At yung denominator naman na 2, siya yung magiging index. So, magiging ganito siya. So, square root of 2. So, ang exponent niyan ay 1. Ang index ay 2. So, ito na yung ating Final answer. Sa letter D, solve for f of 0 tayo. So, f of 0. So, papalitan natin yung exponent na x ng 0. So, we have 2 raised to 0. So, any number raised to 0 except 0 equals 1. So, ibig sabihin, 2 raised to 0 equals 1. So, final answer na yan. Next example natin, so given f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2 plus 3. So we are going to solve for letter a, f of 2, letter b, f of 5, letter c, f of negative 2, and letter d, f of negative 3. Para sa letter a, we are going to solve for f of 2. Or i-evaluate natin at x equals 2. So, f of 2. So, papalitan natin yung x dito ng 2. So, we have 2 raised to 2 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, so simplify muna natin yung term with exponent. So, 2 plus 2, that is equal to 4. So, we have 2 raised to 4 plus 3. Okay, so 2 raised to 4, that is equal to 16. So 16 plus 3, that is equal to 19. Okay, so final answer na to. Letter B naman tayo. So solve for f of 5. 
Okay, so we are going to replace all x's by 5. So we have 2 raised to 5 plus 2 so plus 3. So 5 plus 2, that is equal to 7. So we have 2 raised to 7 plus 3. So 2 raised to 7, that is equal to 128. So, 128 plus 3. Okay, 128 plus 3, that is equal to 131. So, final answer na to. Solve naman natin at x equals negative 2. So, f of negative 2. So, papalitan natin yung x ng negative 2. So, we have 2 raised to negative 2. 2, so plus 2, plus 3. Okay, dun muna tayo sa term with exponent. So negative 2 plus 2, that is equal to 0. So we have 2 raised to 0 plus 3. 2 raised to 0, that is equal to 1. So 1 plus 3, that is equal to 4. So final answer na yan. Solve for f of negative 3. Okay, so papalitan natin yung x ng negative 3. So 2 raised to negative 3 plus 2. So plus 3. Okay, negative 3 plus 2, that is equal to negative 1. So we have 2 raised to negative 1 plus 3. Okay, ang problema natin dito, negative ang exponent ng 2. So, negative 1. Para maging positive yan, kailangan natin siyang ilipat sa denominator. So, ngayon, parehong ang denominator nila ay 1. Okay, so pag nilipat natin yan from numerator to denominator, mababaligtad ang sign ng exponent. So, from negative magiging positive. So, ganito ang kalalabasan yan. So, 1 over 2, so raised to 1, kahit hindi na natin isulat, plus 3 over 1, or kahit 3 lang. Next, combine natin. So, find the LCD. Ang LCD ay 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1, times 1, that is equal to 1. So, plus 2 divided by 1, so that is 2, times 3, that is equal to 6. Okay, 1 plus 6, that is equal to 7. So we have 7 over 2. So final answer na to.